Today is the 19th of November in 2020. We started this day off with some positive news for the education sector of Sri Lanka as the Ministry of Education announced that all schools located in the areas apart from the western province and areas that have been declared as isolated areas will commence its operations from the 23rd of this month. Very good evening. This is the Talk of the Town. Minister of Education Professor GLP was speaking at a media briefing this morning said that all schools located in the areas except for the western province and areas that have been declared as isolated areas will begin its school operations from the 23rd of this month onwards. He said that the classes from grade 6 to 13 will start its operations in this manner starting on the 23rd of this month. However, uh, the minister said that students residing in the districts of Colombo, Kalutara and Gampaha are not permitted to leave the district that they are residing in. Former Secretary to the President Lalit Viratunga and former Director of the Telecommunications and Regulatory Commission of Sri Lanka, Anusha Palpita, were acquitted and released from the charges of the silk cloth case by the Court of Appeal today. The Court of Appeal made this ruling taking into consideration the appeals filed by Anusha Palpita and Lalit Viratunga. The Court of Appeal Justice said that an in-depth analysis of the facts presented to court revealed that there was no criminal misappropriation of funds in this case. President Gota Berajapaksa says that priority will be given to attracting foreign investment instead of obtaining foreign loans in the endeavour of developing the country. His Excellency expressed these views when he met with the newly appointed Chinese ambassador to Sri Lanka at the President's official residence. Meanwhile, His Excellency President Gotabe Rajapaksa visited the Parliament this morning as well. His Excellency was accompanied by Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa as His Excellency was listening to the 2021 budget debate this morning at the Parliamentary Complex.